Hello and welcome. You are watching a technical training video in a series of videos about solar powered water system design presented by the West and Central Africa Regional Solar Hub. Let's get started. As a reminder, here are the five steps of solar powered water system design. If you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and check that out. That's on water demand. But this video will focus on the second step, water source, capacity, and quality. Jumping back into our example project, step two is to identify a water source, determine its capacity, and water quality. First, let's start with the source capacity. For this project, there's a new borehole that was drilled, and the yield test revealed a maximum borehole yield of six cubic meters per hour. However, however, in this region, there's a imposed limit to the percentage that we can extract from that total maximum yield, which is 80%. So in order to calculate the safe borehole yield, we'll multiply the maximum extraction percentage by the maximum borehole yield to get 4.8 cubic meters per hour. We also conducted water quality tests, which revealed a turbidity of 0.6 NTU and the presence of total and fecal coliforms. Since the turbidity is low, less than 5 NTU, only disinfection, in this case chlorine treatment, is required. Continuous inline chlorine treatment is recommended for all projects, regardless of water quality concerns, in order to provide residual disinfection on safe water projects. Now let's take a look at the solar powered water system design tool to see how step two information will be entered there. Jumping back into our spreadsheet now, we're on step two, which is to determine the yield of the water source. First step is to identify the water source, which in this case is a new drilled borehole, and then to enter the maximum yield of the water source, which was six cubic meters per hour and then the maximum extraction percentage if it's applicable in the region. Uh, in this case, it was 80%, and then six multiplied by 80% gives the allowable borehole yield, which is 4.8 cubic meters per hour. Thank you for watching this quick technical training video about solar powered water system design presented by the West and Central Africa Regional Solar Hub. If you want to learn more or get assistance with the project you're working on, visit our website at wcarsolarhub.org. Thanks for watching.